hit our climate goals and meet soaring energy demands, we need to be deploying all of our carbon-free technologies at a massive scale. Nuclear needs to double its capacity if it's going to do its part. Today's nuclear reactors are great at producing huge amounts of electricity around the clock, but many communities can't afford or don't need a full-sized nuclear power plant, or they're looking for more flexible energy sources. However, dozens of companies around the world are developing new reactors that meet a wider variety of energy needs and could make nuclear an attractive option for more communities. Take a remote Arctic village of only a few hundred people. Instead of shipping in dirty diesel fuel and paying 10 times the national average for energy, this community could choose a very small nuclear reactor that meets all of its electricity needs at a fraction of the cost. The leftover heat from the reactor could be used to heat homes in the community as well. All of that with no emissions. Or what about communities in the developing world? With a large advanced reactor nearby, a rapidly expanding city would have a carbon-free way to fuel its growth. This nuclear facility would work alongside wind or solar generation to make sure there's always enough power on the grid. And it could produce high temperature heat to run a water treatment plant and other important industrial facilities. This type of reactor would incorporate new features that allow it to meet the highest security standards at a lower cost. And with their smaller size and unique safety features, many new reactor designs will bring nuclear energy closer into our communities creating opportunities to cut emissions in urban centers, where energy demand is high, space is limited, and air quality is a serious concern. A city could use a small modular reactor to power a clean transportation hub, for instance. One compact nuclear plant could be used to charge autonomous ride-sharing vehicles, EVs in the park-and-ride garage, and a fleet of commuter buses, while also powering the light rail system. Excess power and heat could be used to produce hydrogen for trucks. And, with electricity generated right on site, the city can reduce the risk of power disruptions and offer more reliable service to passengers. A good way to get communities to choose clean energy is to give them more carbon-free options that meet their unique needs. With multiple new reactor designs in the works, more communities than ever before could choose nuclear instead of fossil fuels. It's worth looking into at www.advancednuclearenergy.org.